एनिमल ब्रीडिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एनिमल हजबेंड्री इज एनिमल ब्रीडिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेकिंग द रिक्वायर्ड ब्रीड विच इज़ हेल्थी एंड देन ब्रीडिंग दैम इट इज़ क्रूशल इन एनिमल ब्रीडिंग समटाइम्स वैन द ब्रीड इज सिलेक्टेड इट इज़ नॉट केपेबल ऑफ बिल्डिंग दैट मच प्रोड्यूस एज वी डिजायर सो दैट इज वे एनिमल ब्रीडिंग कम्स इन टू एग्जिस्टिंग ब्रीड इज टर्म डैस अ ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल्स हैविंग कॉमन एंसेस्टर एंड शोइंग सिमिलर कैरेक्टर्स लाइक जनरल अपियरेंस फीचर्स साइज कॉन्फिग्रेशन एक्सेट्रा विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी फर्दर देर आर बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रीडिंग विच इज इन ब्रीडिंग एंड आउट ब्रीडिंग इन इन ब्रीडिंग वॉट इज डन सुपर फीमेल एंड सुपर मेल इज सिलेक्टेड सुपर फीमेल इज द फीमेल विच हैज द कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर मिल्क एंड सुपर मेल इज द मेल विच कैन प्रोड्यूस मोर प्रोजेनी बोथ आर सिलेक्टेड देन दे आर क्रॉस्ड एंड प्रोजेनी इज ऑब्जर्व देन फ्रॉम द सेम प्रोजेनी सुपर फीमेल एंड सुपर मेल इज अगेन सिलेक्टेड एंड दे आर ब्रेड फ्रॉम द सेम जनरेशन ड्यू टू इन ब्रीडिंग वॉट हैपन्स इज वन कैन ऑप्टेन प्योर लाइन ब्रीड ऑल्सो अन रिक्वायर्ड और हार्मफुल जीन्स विच एग्जिस्ट आर शो केस थ्रू इन ब्रीडिंग विच आर इरेज और एलिमिनेटेड दिस लीड्स टू जस्ट रिक्वायर्ड एंड सुपीरियर जीन्स टू बी फाउंड इन प्रोजेनिंग दिस इज द मेरिट बट इट हैज ऑल्सो डी मेरिट सच एज हर्ड इट कैन रेड्यूस फर्टिलिटी एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी वन कंटिन्यूसली इन ब्रीडिंग इज डन इन अ टू इराडिकेट दिस प्रॉब्लम वन कैन सिलेक्ट सुपर फीमेल एंड मेल अगेन एंड दे आर ब्रेड अगेन विच विल help in restoring the fertility and yield out breeding this involves breeding of unrelated animals the unrelated breeds can be of same breed but they must not have any common ancestor till 4 to 6 generations different breeds can also be crossed so different species can also be crossed out crossing in out crossing male and female which don't have common ancestor till 4 to 6 generation are selected they are of same breed the progeny produces called outcross this method is applied when the animals have average milk productivity and to enhance their productivity this type of breeding is done it also enables in increasing of milk produced outcross also helps in restoring inbreeding depression cross breeding super female and super male of two different breeds are crossed due to which desired qualities are crossed and obtained by this many new breeds could be obtained example is given of hisardel which was obtained by crossing bicaneri ewes and merino rams in interspecific hybrids male and female from different species are crossed so here there is no link up there are totally two different species taken progeny obtained from these parents may contain qualities of both the parents mixture of both the parents example is given that a uh, horse having great speed and mobility donkey is helpful in carrying loads and both were crossed mule came into existence which had both the qualities let us know about artificial insemination it is the technique which is done where the semen from super superior males are extracted and it is frozen and when at times of breeding it is used and planted into the uterus of females so that more progeny is produced multiple ovulation embryo transfer also known as moet first of all cow is injected with fsh hormone which induces or fasten up the follicular maturation or ovulation after ovulation the blastocysts at 8 to 32 cell stage are ejected out or removed from the body of the female and transport to surrogate mothers at this time the genetic mother, mother is also is again available for ovulation and this is how process is taken place having multiple cows for uh, producing the progeny helps in getting many number of hybrids or cows this technology is however useful in cattle sheep rabbits buffaloes etc bee keeping bee keeping is also known as apiculture which involves rearing of 
honey bees artificially to gain many products from them the main four species of honey bees which are found in india are apis dorsata apis floria apis indica and apis mellifera from which apis apis indica are the suitable species which are found in domestic areas and are bred at a larger scale beekeeping is, is practiced in normal areas but it also requires many equipments as, as it is cultured artificially for successful beekeeping also one must be aware of the activities of bees and also all the information related to them apart from culturing bees for gaining products from them they are major source of pollinators so when these hives are kept in areas of uh, crop fields so they play a key role in pollinating the plants and hence more and more yield are produced so double the advantage fishery fishery involves catching processing fish farming and marketing of fish and uh, other related aquatic animals fishery mainly includes fishes prawns lobsters oysters mussels crabs etc there are three branches of fishery which involve inland fishery estuarine fishery and marine fishery one advantage of fishery is it provides job opportunities and employment to many people who live in coastal areas major common freshwater fishes which are known to us are labia rohita katla katla sirhina mrigala and other carps Marine fishes that are commonly consumed by us are Harpedon niherius, Sardinella, Rusty Lizard, Kanagurta, Stromatius. But for culturing fishes in ponds, lakes, and reservoirs, are becoming common practice all over India. Apart from having a fish farm, it is necessary for the farmer to look after various stages of fishes. having a good water source supplying manure supplementary feed so that good yield of fishes are produced after catching the fishes the work doesn't ends there preserving of fishes with methods like chilling them freezing freeze drying sun drying smoke drying salting canning apart from having fishes to be highly nutritious there are many by products which are obtained easily from fish having fish oil fish meal fertilizers from the waste fish glue fish guano ice in glass are prepared apart from this paints soaps oils and medicines are also prepared by using fish parts sericulture it is the branch of zoology which deals with rearing of silkworm for production of silk it is a small scale business which anyone can do first of all let us know about the cycle of silkworm or a silk moth first adult female lays eggs on mulberry leaves then caterpillar feeds on mulberry leaves and they hatch out after a duration of time they undergo cocoon stage and they turn into adult forms the best silk is produced by silkworm named bombyx mori however there are other silkworm as well which don't have that much quality as bombyx mori apart from having them cultured in a small farm being small insects they also need tender care from predators and various infestations and diseases lac culture lac is produced by insect which is known as tecardia laca which is very small in size and is colonial in habit it produces a slimy resin which are produced by its dermal gland these insects feed on small twigs and they secrete pink colored slimy resin which in contact with air hardens and forms lac however just remember natural lac is always contaminated what is done this lac this lac is obtained and then it is washed and filtered into pure form this lac is used in preparation of bangles toys woodwork polish inks etc